welcome back legionnaires to another episode of tips and tricks for Roman to war in this episode we are going to be defending a fort or a town a small town of a roman culture with the primarian garrison now is to show you what you need for a frontier town in the primarian i'm also going to explain why you need that and also i'm going to show you what, how effective it can be admittedly this is not going to be as effective as the after marian one because the tro spear troops are a lot more expensive I mean, you don't want them in your fort, you want them on the battlefield, killing people. And for the purpose, I will always play as SPQR uh, for the demos. And we are going to be, not fight, we fought the Gauls last time. This time we're going to fight a greater enemy. As, uh, well, no, no, we'll just fight Gaul again, just to show you the purposes. Because as the, uh, as the armies, you will fight mostly, oh no, I am not attacking, piss off, wait, that's, that's next week. <laughs> so then for you guys, next week we will be attacking, I don't know if it's going to be Primarian, but um, I don't know which one I'll do first. The goal, let's just let's randomly have an army. No, wait. Holy shit. I would hate to fight that. I want one that at least gives some of the men experience. Okay, I tell you that it's not going to. Wait, was another type of general? Oh, chosen warlord. Well, that looks good enough. There's some heavy spearmen in there. We've got some skirmishers, druids, chosen swordsmen. As you can see, there's only one unit of chosen swordsmen. <coughs> I don't understand why, but they never use more. We've garlic warriors as well. So let's show you the pre-Marian type of defense. So obviously. We're gonna defend. You're gonna have it. We're gonna definitely have a general this time. No, that's um, yeah, that's that's the right one. So that's gonna be our general. Uh, you'd want you'd want a, a couple of the start here. Uh, minimized to two for the front in like one for the um, very like mainland territories, which are easily like inland, very far inland. You want two for f f uh, ones that be kind the frontier, and you want three for the frontier provinces. You only want two prinkapes because you want. They're pretty much the backbone of your Hestati, and you always want at least one Prinkipe because they can hit. They hit a lot harder than Hestati. They're being older and more reliable. No, they hit the same, but um, the defense is better on these, and that's it. Must be the armor. Um, and you don't can't the Triarii are, are a bit more expensive. But if you want, you will always want at least one. Uh, trying uh, definitely in Frontier, you want to be able to pay for this. You want to be able to have the troops that can defend well. So this is going to be your infantry. So you don't going to have a lot of infantry really, are you? We're going to want velites and we're going to want archers. So that is definitely a big thing for your frontier towns if you have the ability to get archers. Definitely velites. If you can't get archers, double up the velites because they'll do just as effective. Because And you also need your roundup squad, which normally can consist from two to three cavs. You definitely want at least two. One cavalry will not be able to mop up as quick as two. Or at least, especially three. Now that is all you really want. You don't really want mercenaries, and this is a big garrison. Obviously we're not going to play with any chevrons. Uh, neither is the enemy, so it wouldn't be very fair. And they're using more than one barbarian to a warlord. No. No, that is bullshit. That is bullshit. No, fuck you. You're not playing with more than one barbarian warlord. Have normal barbarian cavalry, thank you. Oh no, a raider cab. I don't care. And as you can see, this is a pretty cheap. This only cost us around about 7,095 denarii. Which means you st it's not that big to assemble and not that. And maintaining it's not going to be much harder. So, as we are ready, the troops, uh, they don't outnumber as much this time because they're using a very heavy army. Which. You won't see straight away, but <clears throat> within at least 20 years of the campaign, you will start seeing these units. They, will norm they normally bring free as well, so you need to make sure you've got a defense for free. So we're going to have to defend a little, 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 little place. It's going to be quite hard, I'd say. Uh, I do it quite. I, I do like playing in my own times, Rome campaigns. Uh, the Brutii is my favorite, but um, I'm proving that we it's it's not exactly that hard to defend against the Gauls either. Again, we pretty much have no space to defend. You do want your general, 
in the main square is to, uh, to like to sma try and smash through your enemies. You know, we'll leave him out of there for now. So you want your Prinker page, Troy Arii, as your front line. Um, no, that's not Troy Arii game. That's Troy Arii. You want them close. Few in ranks, but stronger in men. That is, the sh that is what that is the truth. You want thin ranks. If you have more ranks, that means you can absorb a bigger hit. But that is what our, the, our um, these troops are Hastatia for. These troops are for absorbing the hit mainly, and our Principes are for um, uh, pretty much supporting the other gates and also being useful. And like, so once, because Principes can more than more than easily hold their own. Forward. You want to have your men on tight formation, though, definitely. And because the Principes will fi fire before the men get to them, uh, they're going to be they're going they're not going to have as much uh, damage. It being in from a charge because men will start to walk and slow down from taking the damage now the velite you are going to have to position your velite with them which will <coughs> uh, help soften the blow so your velite are really going to be protecting your um, other men and your archers now as you can see there's a lot more room uh, from what we've got now because we haven't got as many troops but it's, uh, it'll do just the job There we go. Okay, that's the best we can do. You do not want skirmish on any of your men. That will break your lines, and you will not want that. It is nice to have the general's support uh, to defend the square, but you mainly want your cavalry, again, out the door, ready to get out the door. I want to line them up nicely for the games. There we go. So this, let's go look at the force quickly. So they bring. It doesn't matter where the men are, to us. But um, I want to show you what we're going to be doing. Again, we're going to be going for the general. All his cav will ride in, and his general will be here alone. Our equities are more than enough, to, I'd say, to take out this chosen warlord. Especially as we're going to sw hit w in brace with one cav, flank through the other two cav at each side. So it shouldn't be too hard. By that I mean it's not going to be hard. We've got a spear troop for the front Fury here. Again, you don't really want your most veteran troops on the front line. But in the case of defending a city when you're vastly out, uh, uh, under, not as superior as your enemy, you need them. Now, we want to we we walk our cavalry out the door and just leave them there for now. That's all we need to do. We don't want to rush them. But um, we want them out the door. Normally, you can have the Histati as the front line and the Terrari behind them. But it's going to pay more for when the cavalry charge to have your Terrari at the front. Triaria, if you can only like when you garrison, you only have troops you can garrison. You know you can build there. Triaria in the campaign, all you need is a governor's palace, which I believe this has got. No, this is, this is one below a governor's palace. But if you've got a governor's palace, you can build Triaria. So I'm pretty sure that's right. So don't hesitate to use them as a frontline defense. In battle, in proper battles on front field, you want them third or flanking. You do not want them as a frontline in open field. That is where the Histati and the Principe is going. But in towns, it's it's okay to have them there. That I can tell you with utmost pro promise. I, I am very, I've studied a lot about the Roman history and uh, they're ve very, very veteran troops, but you ca in this scenario, we can use them on the front line. And they won't really put, pose as much usefulness behind the um, line as a Histati unit will, because the Histati unit can actually throw shit at them. Now we must rely on We can let me are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. And the enemy is so thick not to realize we had cavalry outside. They just charged all their troops through. So we're going to quickly run up here. Uh, we're not going to see most quite a bit of the beginning battle over here cuz I want to you want to focus on getting the general out. Just just trust your men. You've got your general there. Every so often just click your general and inspire. Use the inspire ability. Well, this rally troops ability, but um, that's just practically rally. Cavalry will normally run down first. You've got your archers protection as well, which I believe starts around about there. So it, mainly they'll start killing them about there, which is good enough. For, trust me. Well, we're gonna. Right, I'm gonna send you to the attack straight away. I want you here. 
and we're going to start the box. Well, the boxing of his general. Killing the general will vast. Well, you need to make. This is why you need to make the general dead. So your troops don't get scared. So you, their troops get scared, sorry, and die quickly. That's why you want your general protected. So that doesn't happen to you. And the general, the Gaulish general, is a lot superior to us. And he's going to charge, which is what we wanted. Admittedly, we're not going to get... It looks like it's going to take a while to get the... Uh, but they've slowed down, which means they're going to charge to hit them. You will lose a lot of equities early, early on, trust me. And that's the envelope now. And an envelope. There we go. Completely enveloped in our troops. And defeat is a distinct possibility. They're going down a lot. And it's victory is certain for us. We're going to take a lot of casualties. Or it seems... It doesn't seem we are, actually. Equites are um, normally just scouts for the Roman army. So they're not... I didn't expect them to be this strong. But it looks like our own Barbic Daphne mod has made them a, 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 a proper cavalry unit. Instead of just the scouting units, which they would have been. Because when our general is not you being used, we're good. Our archers are going to start whittle down the troops. The enemy general is dead. That's what we want. Now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. His chosen swordsmen look like they want to take up the um, position first. I have never actually seen a Triarii brace position because I normally use them for flanking. But I want to see their brace position. I think it'd look cool. Don't look at your shoe brace. They're there, and you're not bracing yet. Really, game. Honestly, game. There we go. It's a f practically they're practically using a phalanx, but because they don't have a ho hoblon or a the Macedonian shield, which I forgot the name of, they don't ha aren't as effective. And I want one cavalry there, one cavalry there, one cav there. This way, we can enter all f all three ways and dest destroy troops. Now, you can, you, they are your Traeria are going to get pushed. Um, that is obvious. And your start, you're going to start in engaging as well. But see that? Probably and Cav gone. It's because you've got your spears on the front line. And you've also got your troops throwing javelins. You've got Velites helping over there. Which they'll start helping here when you once the forest. Oh, no, they've got archers. Which they're going to charge my Triarii with. Okay. Turn, time to get the cavalry in the wall. Run in, please. Uh, sorry, guys. But anyway, we're going to get our troops in. If you can hear clicking, sorry, I, I apologize, guys. That will be sorted out for the rest of the episodes, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too bad, uh, because there's nothing I can actually do about it. They're actually going to try to push my men out of the way. Which is why I'm going to start bringing... I'm going to bring these troops around. Oh, crap, they're bringing some spear... What? They, they've, they've started to rout massively. Uh, we haven't. We've took some Astarte ki kills and we've took some big losses, but um, our men are holding out more than enough. Yeah, we we, we want to pull our men out right now. There, we can let the barbarian cab go. Uh, as in this w scenario, it seems to don't always encounter. Expect them to run mass route. Always expect them to stay in and uh, and just try and kill everyone because of the general death. You don't want to expect that you're going to win quickly. Don't expect them to run away like they're doing. Expect them to want to charge, charge, charge. So you, you, this is why your Triarii is the front line. Uh, as you can see, in some places, Triarii aren't. Because that they started here. They've been pushed back so far now that they're actually merged in with Astarte. So, which is actually a really good tactic. Because you're going to hit spears and also men. So it's actually pretty good. And they've got archers. Where are they? Are they are? The, where are they using the archers from? Unfortunately, we're not, we're not going to find out. Uh, we could do a flanking maneuver, but uh, there it is. So what you want to do is you want to send a brigade of your arch uh, cavalry off. Uh, it looks like the enemy isn't going to rout anymore. So, no, you, you idiot, go that way. Oh yeah, go up there. Go to the other two units of cav. 
you want to start getting ready for the exit of the enemy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to prepare ourselves for an exit. Or a, at least a rear charge to the enemy. Uh, the very men are going to be extremely tired. Your men are going to be happy. Not exactly too perfect, but you're going to be out, you're going to have enough abil ability for yourself. And this, uh, make sure to get, get rid of their archers ASAP or as soon as possible. You wanna, you wanna actually fight? Go that way. Wow. Sorry, guys. I've this. The, the cavalry at the moment is just not working properly. Oh, get out of there. You're meant to charge them. Oh crap, they've got some wit. They've got a spear band running at us. They're actually gonna they're actually wanting to charge our own men now. They're actually wanting to charge our cavalry, which is very smart on their behalf. Let's go watch a bit more of the slaughtering. If they, our men have, if it's that, if still got pillar, just don't let them hesitate to throw. Our men, and we're gonna. Well, I haven't been doing it, but rallying the troops will give your men the liking. If you've seen Shogun, you know, give them your men a bit, a bit of bonuses, like just like ability and shit. Can you actually charge them, please? Wow. Can I? Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but I call bullshit, so I'm going to bring in both my units of cav. So it looks like their, cav and their men have got a bit, for some reason these forest arch warband are a bit stronger than I thought. As soon as, as, soon as my, quite a lot of my men touch them, they rat die. All units of cavalry kill, okay. When you cavalry, yeah, you see, your cavalry will start to rout, which is bad because the, um, they'll break your position. So you need to need, you need to make ensure they don't break. Which uh, at the moment I can't really say is happening. Uh, your velites will lose a lot of ammo quickly. I can t I can promise you that. Oh, don't break the line! <laughs> it broke the line. Get out of there. Get out of there so they can reform. Hopefully they'll reform. Yeah, that. Oh crap. So it looks like you know that's why you don't want cavalry to rout. And I'm actually going to reposition my men uh, for any more advances. Might as well run the troops up. Are you just sat there letting them kill you? <laughs> oh, they've got spears, that's why. They have actually got spears. I did not know that. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's a little trip, little thing. Don't let your men get hit by Forest Warband, because Forest, yeah, Forest Warband, isn't it? Yeah, they have spears. They're now going to try and shoot my men down. Which they're probably going to succeed in getting a few of. Nope, they're shooting that way. You, sir, are stupid. You never want to mobilize your army to push out at all. It looks like the spearmen are aiming for our cavalry. Oh, shit. Uh, looks like they found our cavalry and are going to try to take advantage of uh, me me being not as smart with, uh, as defending my cavalry as I should have been. I'm going to pull my cavalry out of the shit city again. I'm going to speed up a bit because I want to start them advancing again, me, um, upon me again. Preferably run your dips. Because yeah, it doesn't look like they want to attack me. We've only lost 40% of our army. 15%. So, now that we know that the Prinkapes are not going to have any competition, let's use them to our advantage. We're going to pull out of the square with just the Prinkapes for now. Admirely, it's going to break our line. 
a very, very thin line, but it shouldn't do too bad. I'm going to speed it up so I can reform my alarm qu alar 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 lines. No, when men run through them, they don't break them that much. Admitted that I'd rather have my triari straight in a straight line still. And one of our pre has still got loads of ammo left, so we're going to tell him. We're not going to tell him to expel it, because I'd rather him just kill them. No, we're going to stay out there for now. There's no reason coming back in. So look at the Prink Bays. The Prink Bays are going to use their Gladius and Scriptum just to completely massacre these troops. They are going to have cavalry support now, so I've decided. So I'm just going to tight speed it up and let our and just let our men massacre them. Your men will gain experience very, very slowly. And actually you want the cavalry near the gate, now that I think about it. Preferably don't go that way. Okay, we need to... Get out of there, get out of there now. No, you. Did you stop routing? Nope, you got through my line. You okay, we're not, we don't matter about the line. Who's, it doesn't matter now because we're actually pushing out. And I'm going to use the Stati over here as well because. Why? We don't need them over here. And we're going to use our cavalry to ensure that no one can get out alive. So that's what you want to do. You want to kill your general, and then you want to make sure no one gets out alive. But once you, the, the enemy is disorganized enough, you might as well hunt them down, which is what we're doing right now. But try. I want the prink. I want there still to be a secure front way, front gate to like my where what we're defending. So it looks like the enemy is that the last of the enemy. I don't know, but we're gonna go kill them with our swords, men. And we're gonna tell all our men to hit them. Cavalry were there for now. Okay, run out now. No, don't, 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 fuck it, fuck it, run back. Well, that didn't go very effectively. Our archers are shooting at who? Can you explain to who, archers? Eh, I can't see who, but... I guess that, that warband who just got behind our men. Wow, this is going... <laughs> well, it's going, it's going well, pretty well. So you just need to do is slaughter the men. You just need to make use your infantry to kill them. The and your aunt cavalry to rout them. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. So, as you can see, we lost. We lost about 300 men. That's still not that bad. So, that's how your men will do. You'll be left with a decent garrison, which you can just retrain. Uh, you won't lose many, all of any of your men, and uh, there's no point saving it. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Tips and Tricks for Rome to War with Joe, and I will see you next to a part with. Whatever will be in the next screen you're about to see. Legionnaires, stay proud of the Shadow Legion.